once it's saved we have to do the blank generator operation that is click on the icon and select the face then we have to create a blank layout this initialization of project blank generator and blank layout has been discussed in my previous uh, videos so i'm not going to discuss much on it next is designing a scrap so you have to click on this icon enter the details then we'll design the strip layout and finally do the force calculations so first blank generator click on this body and select the face and click ok go to blank layout now we have to maximize the material utilization let's try do some R&D what happens if it's reduced to 36 and let's see the minimum space size we have 3 mm that is over designing so I can still reduce it to 35 and see 2 so we need somewhere a uh, minimum space of 1.25 to 1.5 so let's keep 34.25 and see yeah 46 means we'll be having a gap of 3.2672 that is sufficient to implement a side cutter so I'm happy with that also so click OK now click on scrap design click on create now you have uh, in this window we can create a scrap of piloting nature or piercing nature and each color has been uh, given to each of operations its color indicator will make our life easy uh, CN is assigned to piercing, magenta is assigned to piloting green is assigned to overlap and overcut and yellow for trimming and red for hold so we need to create the profile of the punch or select it from this edges for creating the side cutter we need to do a sketching so that click on closed curves and uh, click on the sketch section you, you can create all these uh, scraps in specific stations you can take n number of stations but I have planned for only four I'll be placing the side cutter in first station as shown in the slides and I'll be keeping it as piercing because it's a piercing operation click select this icon since we already uh, selected the plane during blank generator we need not select any plane now just keep the plane method as inferred and click OK now you need to offset 2mm will do 2mm clearance between side cutter and the edge of the strip I mean edge of the plank will do click OK now you need to draw the entire profile I'll do some constraint I'll constrain this line with respect to this line close I need to do a further make corners this length of this uh, side cutter should be equivalent to that of pitch 
then only it can control the uh, pro i mean uh, strip movement you can restrict the strip movement which is equal to the pitch you may be wondering why i am designing an undercut like this uh, this uh, this profile varies from companies to company but this is one of the commonly used profile if we don't keep this uh, undercut and it's just a uh, rectangular shape in a period of time this corner will get worn out and a strip i mean a thorn like shape will be protruding out and that will obstruct the movement of the strip so we just need a something like 1.5 mm deep One point five and a forty five degree here. You can mirror this profile. So I need to create a center line for that. This uh, function becomes more handy. I'll convert this to a center line. Now I'll do the mirroring operation. Click OK. Make the corners. Click OK. So we just created a side cutter profile on one side. Need to create it on the second side. I'll do a simple mirroring operation. defining the center line then do a mirror curve select the center line and the profile gets mirrored click ok then finish sketch Make sure you are keeping on piercing and click OK. File save, save all. It's always a good practice to do a save all in after each operation so that if anything happens the data don't get erased. Again, go back to scrap. For selecting uh, all this profile inside, we can click on hold boundary, and we need to uh, put all those operations in second station. And in hold boundary, it always select the piercing, and click apply. We don't need to select anything because everything is predefined. Now we need to see this red color as indicated defines the whole operation now we need to create a blanking operation i'm going to this icon close curves and instead of sketching it out i can select the edges and i'm doing a blanking operation on the fourth stage fourth station change it to piercing Rotate it and keep the view which is very comfortable and then keep the selection as tangent curves. Click on the edge. The entire uh, sketch is selected and click apply. Now we have a station 3 as uh, idle station but since the station 2 is little bit crowded I want to move this to uh, scrap to station number three for that click on edit and you can see this uh, change station icon click on scrap it's very difficult to differentiate between the blank and piercing so do select it from the list it was a wrong selection cancel 
edit we have to select one more okay now we will change the station number to three and click apply and that's it your uh, scrap designing is done click on file save save all